Hey guys, what's up? For today's video, I'm going to be doing the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip Set review and swatches. But firstly, before I begin, I did want to say that this eye right here is under major construction. The, la the eyelash did not want to stick. My eye keeps freaking tearing to death like a bitch. And it's just not working out for me. So I was going to do the whole thing over, but then I'm like, I'm just not. Because I worked so hard on this whole thing, so I'm just like, screw this right now. So if you see the lash falling off or tears coming down, just, you know, it is what it is. What can I do? Anyways, um, this is how the product looks that I'm going to be discussing today. This does retail for $28 on Sephora's website. And of course, I'll leave a link down below. If you guys know me, you do know that I usually do pick up the Sephora favorite sets. Just because I feel like they are such a good value usually for your money and it's a great way to try out a whole bunch of stuff for a pretty affordable price tag. Alright, so let's get started with what is in here. So, you pop the cover open and this is how all the lip products arrive and it does come with this little like string situation kind of thingy. You are receiving one full size product and five deluxe size um, lip products which are pretty good sizes as well. You're probably never going to finish them. so. They're pretty good size, I would say. All right, the first lip product that you are receiving is from NARS, and this is in the shade Bound. This is one of the NARS Love Lip Glides. It's kind of a hybrid between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick, but I love these so much because they're freakishly comfortable. Like, you feel like you have jelly on your lips, but in a very good kind of way. You know what I mean? It's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't last the longest on the actual lips, but you know, and you would probably have to reapply throughout the day, but it's that kind of like everyday lip product that you just want to wear just because it's so comfortable and it's beautiful so that's how the shade looks it's kind of like a beautiful dusty rose kind of color the next lip product that you are receiving is a lip gloss and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is in the shade Kristen so this is kind of like a deepened raspberry color I've never tried any of the Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH um, lip glosses I just never had a chance to but I'm excited to test this out because I've heard great things about it Anyways, it seems like it's extremely pigmented, so you could definitely wear it on its own and get a nice amount of pigment. But you could also wear it, obviously, on top of any lipstick if you want. So that's how the shade looks. They're both pretty similar, I would say, so interesting. The next lip product that you are receiving is from Marc Jacobs, and this is one of the Marc Jacobs lip glosses, and this is in the shade Sugar Sugar. Gosh, this eye is killing me. It's going to be the death of me. Anyways, um... That's how it looks. This is actually one of Jacqueline's Hill, Jacqueline Hill's favorite uh, lip glosses from Marc Jacobs, like the shade. And it is a beautiful nude color. And it has little specks of like shimmer, but you can't like actually see it. But that's how it looks. I could totally see why it would be her favorite because this is freaking hot. Next lip product that you are receiving is from Tarte. And this is one of the Tarte's lip surgeons uh, this is a really nice like brown color like i would say it's a true brown and i think it's really cool because i don't own a ton of shades like this this is a glossy finish satin and glossy finish i would say definitely not matte very very comfortable on the lips and lasts a really nice time personally i'm not a huge fan of these tarte lip products like lip surgeons because they do have a minty scent but they're not too too overpowering however if you are sensitive to scents just keep that in mind next lip product that we have here is from Too Faced and this is one of the Too Faced lip injections lip gloss this is in the shade Spice Girl and it's just a nice nude color um, I think this would be great to wear on top of any lipstick because it doesn't have much pigmentation to it but I personally am not a huge ass fan of these um, lip injections by Too Faced because they kind of feel like you have like needles in your lips because it kind of gives the illusion of like fuller, like plumpier lips. And I don't know, I'm just not about that. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of this. But if you do want that kind of effect, I feel like it does work. But it kind of is like, you know, 10% or 20% painful in a way. So uh, that's how the shade looks. A nice typical uh, very kind of like sheer nude color the last and final lipstick that you are receiving in this little set is from urban decay and i love the packaging of it this recently like a whole collection of this released a few months back i haven't picked up any of them so i'm happy to see this in this little set that's how the shade looks it's kind of like a rosy color and this is in the shade trot uh, what is this trivial <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, this has little specks of like shimmer in here, but it's not too noticeable on the actual lips. That's how it looks. And these don't dry down matte, so you probably would have to reapply throughout the day. However, they're very, very comfortable. Anyways, that's how all these shades look that are included in this actual set. You can basically see most of them are kind of like 
not too deep, but more on the deeper side and more rosy tone. So I, like I said, I feel like it could definitely suit a ton of different skin tones ranging from fair to, you know, pretty, pretty deep. And I like the selection. I think it's really, really nice. And I'm very happy with this Sephora favorites uh, nude lip. Give me some nude lip set. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in my next video.